AI is sold as the ultimate shortcut, cheaper, faster, smarter. But let's be honest, every free prompt you type quietly hoovers cash from your bank account, drains lakes to cool distant server farms, and erodes the very values your company claims to hold dear. The real bill? It doesn't show up in your inbox, it lands squarely on your budget, your planet, and your culture. Stay with us, because once you see these hidden line items, you won't be able to unsee them. Welcome back to Mentor's Mindset. We've all felt that buzz, haven't we? That moment, a chatbot spits out a perfect press release in 10 seconds flat. The price tag says zero pounds, but the actual price is buried deep in the small print no one reads. Ballooning cloud fees, carbon debts the size of countries, and ethical minefields disguised as progress. Today, we're auditing four hidden budgets behind the AI revolution financial, environmental, organizational, and ethical. This will help you decide if the hype is still worth the bill. Let's kick things off with the ledger you actually care about. A modest customer service bot might look very affordable with a £199 a month SaaS license. What the sales pitch conveniently forgets to mention, however, is the data egress charge that can easily triple your cloud invoice when traffic spikes. And don't forget the retraining cycle, every six to nine months that costs five to 10% of the original build. Multiply that across three years, and hey presto, you've paid for the product twice over without even noticing. But the costs start even earlier. Developing and implementing AI isn't cheap. We're talking anywhere from 10,000 pounds for a small automation project, to well over 10 million pounds for enterprise scale AI solutions. Think about it. You need to acquire data, build out infrastructure, cloud or on-premise, and crucially, hire top tier AI specialists who command salaries from 100,000 pounds to 300,000 pounds annually. Then there's the model training itself, especially for deep learning, which can rack up millions of pounds in computational costs alone. And once it's built, you still have to integrate it with your existing systems and ensure compliance with a labyrinth of regulations. And it doesn't stop there. AI models, like everything else, degrade over time. They need regular fine tuning or retraining, often one to two times a year, which adds another five to 10% of that initial development cost annually. As your user base grows, your infrastructure needs to scale, demanding more compute power, storage, and those expensive GPU resources, adding another 5 to 15% to your annual spend. Plus, you've got continuous monitoring, debugging, performance tracking, software updates, security patches, compliance audits, and user training, all eating away at your budget, adding another 3 to 5% annually. Ever heard of hidden cloud costs? Things like data egress fees, idle compute resources, and data gravity can inflate your expenses so much that some companies are actually going back to on-premise solutions. And if you're dabbling in generative AI, brace yourself. Computing costs are projected to jump by a staggering 89% between 2023 and 2025. It's no wonder so many organizations are putting the brakes on AI projects. Then there's the imposter software. Last year, security firm Checkpoint flagged over 1,200 fake AI trading advisors on Google Play. These scams promise a ridiculous 30% monthly return, charge a £49 algorithm access fee, and then vanish into thin air. Victims in California alone reported losses topping £2 million, and that was just for one flavor of this scam. And the new terrifying twist? Voice clones of your CEO asking finance to wire Emergency AI license fund. One mid-sized manufacturer in Ohio lost £243,000 in just 38 minutes. This isn't just pocket money we're talking about. Even legitimate tools bleed you dry. A popular copywriting AI might lure users with a £0 intro tier, then quietly activate a £0.03 per word premium model once you hit a mere 2,000 characters. The average marketing team sales past that limit daily, racking up one £200 a year per seat. Multiply that by 10 teammates and you've just bought a used Tesla in fees, all because nobody bothered to read the small print on the pricing. Here's a tip for your budget. 
insist on hard caps, not pay-as-you-go. If the vendor won't cap your spend, walk away. Your future self will thank you when that growth surge doesn't blow a hole in your quarterly forecast. Every time you pay for an AI query, you're also unknowingly billing the planet. A single ChatGPT prompt, for instance, emits about 4.3 grams of CO2. That sounds tiny, doesn't it? Until you scale it up. OpenAI fields roughly 100 million queries daily. That's 430 metric tons of CO2 by lunchtime, equivalent to 1,000 cars idling in a car park all day. The data centers that make all this possible are power-hungry beasts. Their electricity consumption jumped a massive 72% between 2019 and 2023. If the cloud were a country, it would rank 11th for electricity use, just ahead of South Korea. Training one large language model can consume as much energy as 130 New York to London flights. It's not just the operational emissions from running these models, we're also talking about the embodied emissions from manufacturing the hardware and constructing those massive data centers. Estimates suggest AI contributes between 2.1% and 3.9% of global greenhouse gas emissions. While that might seem modest compared to giants like transport or manufacturing, it's still a significant slice of a pie we desperately need to shrink. But wait, there's a sneakier cost. Water. A typical US data center guzzles about 7,100 liters per megawatt hour for cooling. In drought-prone Arizona, that footprint translates to 1.1 million gallons evaporated daily per campus which is enough drinking water for 40,000 households. And we haven't even touched the hardware. Every GPU rack needs cobalt, and a staggering 70% of it is mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo under notoriously loose oversight. Investigators have found kids as young as seven hauling rocks for two pounds a day. So your automation miracle often starts with manual labor most boards never discuss. The production and disposal of AI hardware also lead to significant e-waste issues, contributing to soil erosion, pollution, and the contamination of vital water sources. So what's the solution? Green AI is finally sprouting. Companies like Google are using their TPUs to cut training energy by 30%. Microsoft struck a 24-7 renewable matching deal in Virginia. And OpenAI is adopting renewable energy sources and aiming for carbon neutral operations. Strategies also include optimizing model efficiency through techniques like transfer learning, pruning and quantization. Until these practices become standard though, treat every model like a gas guzzler. Combine tasks, prune parameters and only train when absolutely necessary. Beyond the tangible financial and environmental impacts, AI brings a host of organizational challenges that can subtly erode your company's resilience. Large organizations, in particular, often struggle to integrate AI effectively. Why? Because they're battling legacy systems, siloed departments, and cultures that are inherently risk-averse. The old top-down management style often clashes with the teamwork that AI projects desperately need to succeed. Without clear AI governance frameworks, you end up with inconsistent implementation and isolated efforts that never quite connect. Then there's the whole change management nightmare and the impact on your workforce. Adopting AI isn't just about plugging in new software. It demands a complete overhaul of your workflows and a shift in who's accountable, which many companies find incredibly difficult. And let's be honest, employees often fear job displacement leading to resistance and reduced cooperation. Successful AI integration isn't just about the technology. It demands a big investment in training, transforming the company culture and creating a sense of psychological safety so your teams can build trust and work together with AI. If your staff aren't on board, your AI project is dead in the water. And what about financial planning? AI projects demand substantial upfront investment but the returns can be incredibly uncertain, making traditional financial planning a headache. Many organizations struggle to accurately estimate the total cost of ownership, which inevitably leads to budget overruns and frustrating project delays. 
The experimental nature of AI means the usual return on investment metrics often fall short, requiring completely new ways to measure success. It's a leap of faith, but one that needs a solid parachute of planning. Money and megawatts are easy math compared with the cultural corrosion. No spreadsheet can truly capture. Let's start with bias. Remember when Amazon scrapped its AI CV screener? They realized it automatically downgraded any application containing the word women's, effectively rejecting candidates from all female colleges. The model simply mirrored historical hiring data, creating an echo of past discrimination that was amplified at scale. It wasn't malicious, just flawed, and the consequences were severe. Then there's the black box problem. A European bank deployed an algorithm that cut mortgage approval times from weeks to minutes. Sounds great, right? But regulators later discovered it was charging immigrant borrowers 0.4% higher APR on average. Executives couldn't explain why. The neural net had no audit trail. The resulting class action settlement wiped out six months of profit. That's the cost of opacity. The whiplash for your workforce is very real too. When telecom giant AT&T rolled out AI scheduling, technicians watched algorithms assign overtime to the lowest cost regions, slashing local hours by 18%. Morale nosedived, trade union grievances tripled, productivity actually fell 6% because experienced techs quit rather than train their digital replacements. Employee fears about job displacement aren't just abstract concerns, they're real, and they raise profound ethical questions about workforce transitions. And let's not forget the privacy and security risks. Compliance with data protection laws like GDPR isn't just a regulatory burden, it's a costly but essential shield against data breaches and misuse. A single breach can devastate a company's reputation and bottom line. Ethical governance isn't some hoodie-clad philosopher's hobby, it's vital insurance. Build explainability requirements directly into your procurement specs. Publish bias audit results quarterly. And critically, give staff veto power over machine decisions that affect livelihoods. A human override isn't nostalgia, it's sound risk management and a commitment to your company's soul. Have you ever been stung by a surprise AI bill or watched your team's culture erode overnight because of a poorly implemented system? Share your story in the comments. Our collective experiences can pressure vendors to clean up their act. Now, before you unplug every server and chuck your laptop out the window, let's remember something crucial. The same technology burning cash and carbon can also detect cancer cells earlier design batteries that need 40% less lithium, and translate disaster alerts into 200 languages within seconds. The trick, as always, is to be mindful in how we adopt it. Some banks now run green inference schedules, queuing low-priority tasks until local solar output peaks. Shopify insists vendors publish lifecycle carbon data before procurement teams even bother to demo products. And Adobe's Firefly models train only on licensed images, neatly avoiding the copyright minefield that rivals are still wading through. Responsible AI isn't just a dream, it's possible. It just takes the will to ask the tough questions before clicking, I agree. So, here's the Stark bill. Financially, AI can be a subscription trap eating away at 5 to 15% of your budget every year you scale. Environmentally, it's a silent emitter rivaling airlines. Organizationally, it can create significant friction through cultural resistance and workflow disruption. And ethically, it can hollow out your culture faster than any competitor. But you're not powerless. Here are four essential rules to navigate this landscape. 1. Financial fortitude. Cap your cloud spend with hard budget alerts, not gentle nudges. Demand transparency on all potential ongoing costs before you sign on the dotted line. 2. Environmental accountability. Demand energy and water usage disclosures from any AI vendor. If they can't provide them, assume the worst and push for answers. 
3. Organizational harmony, invest heavily in change management, employee training, and clear governance frameworks. Prioritize psychological safety to ensure your workforce embraces, rather than resists, AI integration. 4. Ethical oversight, install a human-in-the-loop policy for any decision affecting money, health, or careers. Audit outcomes quarterly for bias, error rates, and employee trust. Publish those numbers internally. Sunlight is still the best disinfectant. If this opened your eyes, hit share and send it to that one colleague who keeps saying AI is basically free. Let's keep each other honest and in business. And if you want more deep dives that crunch the numbers, the sales deck skip, subscribe. The algorithms won't warn you, but we will.